Welcome to ASQ TV, where we're creating a global view of quality. In this episode, we take a look at soft skills and their importance in leadership and management. When you think of a leader, what comes to mind? Often, we think of an individual who's mastered the hard skills or technical aspects of a profession. But according to author and speaker Simon Bailey, it's important for leaders to also think big picture to truly drive change. Every quality leader is a storyteller. What's that story that you're telling every single day? And the way to think about that is that you're a brand. Every leader is telling a story about what he or she believes, and it's that story that people connect with. Bailey says leaders must think about how to sustain their leadership over the long term. I think there are sometimes you have leaders who are really bosses with an agenda instead of leaders with a vision. I think leaders also need to understand that if they are going to be relevant in this global economy, sometimes they can want broadband results, but they use dial-up methods. We have moved from a point-and-click world to a touch-and-swipe world. So every leader, he or she, needs to look within themselves and say, what is it that I need to do to create a leader shift? We recognize that we're not waiting for things to happen. We become the change that we want to see. View Simon Bailey's keynote speech from the 2014 World Conference on Quality and Improvement, available on demand at the link below. What exactly are soft skills? They're the unique personal traits, behaviors, and attitudes you bring to the workplace. Things like communication skills, flexibility and adaptability, time management abilities, and problem-solving skills. Soft skills are the way you relate to and interact with others and how others see you. They complement the technical or hard skills that you've developed in your line of work. You may use your technical skills to build a great process or solve a difficult problem, for instance. But without effective soft skills, you may have difficulty conveying your ideas and building consensus. Depending on your career goals, there are ways to strengthen your soft skills. The head of a recruiting firm and a Quality Progress Career Corner columnist, Rosemary Christopher, recommends the following to make that happen. To strengthen verbal communication skills, join a public speaking and leadership skills building club, such as Toastmasters. Become a leader of an interest group related to your organization or industry and get involved. To build management skills, take on leadership roles in industry-focused groups or associations. By leading others, you exercise skills such as conflict resolution, teamwork, collaboration, and negotiation. Mentor others to practice your communication skills and relate to colleagues in the workplace. Search online for free assessments to help gauge your own soft skills and determine which areas to improve. And for more ideas, read Christopher's recent columns at the links below. In our professional lives, it's easy to get caught up in daily tasks and neglect soft skills in the workplace. To motivate employees and develop high-performing work relationships, leaders must understand that all people have certain needs that must be met. According to the Quality Progress article, feeling connected, everyone desires to be heard and understood. Truly listen to what others have to say, affirmed. Acknowledge the accomplishments and efforts of employees. Accepted. Treat employees with honor and respect. Safe. Workers shouldn't be afraid of expressing ideas. Respected. Remember that employees have lives outside of work. They're real people with feelings. Chosen. Lift employees up by reminding them that by hiring them, you chose to work with them. Included. Ensure employees know how they fit in and relate to organizational goals. You know, leaders can keep the list of the seven desires on hand to remind them to connect with people for meaningful work relationships and long-term productivity. Learn more by reading the Quality Progress article and listening to an interview with the author at the links below. Many of us have worked for a person who seemed to lack professionalism and leadership skills. A supposed leader who didn't know his or her, shall we say, limitations. That's probably why the TV sitcom The Office became so wildly popular, first in the UK and then in the United States and now, reportedly, around the world, including French, German and Israeli TV. The mockumentary revolves around the manager of a paper company doing his best to lead his employees but he ends up being ineffective, irresponsible, or just plain inappropriate. Take a look at how he tries to explain leadership. The word ship is hidden inside the word leadership as its derivation. So if this office is in fact a ship, as its leader, I am the captain. 
but we're all in the same boat. Or these great words of wisdom. What is the most inspiring thing I ever said to you? Don't be an idiot. Changed my life. Well, thanks for watching. Do apply this wisdom. And don't miss our next episode when we celebrate World Quality Month.